Hello guys, my name is Paddy and I welcome you to this channel. So today's video is a very short one featuring a young guy who is making so much money with a simple backyard fish farm. But one thing I've realized is that when it comes to farming, especially in Africa, I might be wrong. But I think um, very few people think of fish farming. But I've come to learn that if fish farming is done the right way, it could be a very big deal. As you can see, the real game players in the fishing industry are some of those farmers who have the most sophisticated infrastructure and have invested heavily in the field. But then, my question has always been that do you need this much capital and investment before you could make a decent earning out of the fish industry? So my visit to Ali's backyard fish farm proves that you don't and I'll just show you why. So before we go on to how Ali is making this much money from his backyard fish farm, I would like to let you know what this channel is about. It is a channel that simply features everything we do with our agribusiness. So we are into commercial grain production, that is maize, millet, rice, animal production, piggery, goods, and sheep. So guys, if you're someone who would like to go into farming, you can simply use this channel as a reference point since we are dedicated to sharing all the knowledge and the experience that we learn on here. Kindly support us with a subscription, hit the notification button, and leave us some comments to tell us your experience and ideas, and we greatly appreciate that. Welcome to Ali's farm. I met Ali somewhere in November 2021 when I visited Ghana. So prior to this, we had decided to add a fish farm to our products but we were not so sure which system of fish farm we were going to operate. We had to choose between the Ayrton Pond and the Tapolin system. We got onto our lease farm and to be honest, you might be forced to think there is nothing serious going on here. I was eager to know if he actually had any knowledge in fish farm or he knew what he was doing at all and that's Ali coming. But he brought some fish feed to let me know the number of fishes he's got in each pond, the types, and trying to explain to me what he gives them, what they like, and what makes them grow better. So he comes over and explains also that he had previously been a caretaker of another person's fish farm, and that he's got all the necessary knowledge to make a successful fish farmer. And more interestingly, I was very impressed to know that he did all this tag out and the pipe works by himself. So, of course, this was someone who knew what he was doing. Realizing that he did actually have any knowledge in fish farm, I thought that was an opportunity to learn more myself. I asked him and he did explain the differences and the benefits between the dugout ponds and the tarpaulin system. Part of the earthen pond provided a natural habitat for the fish appeals to be more. So, if you look at this pond well, you could see how it has got its own vegetation grown in the pond. So, according to Ali, there are days when the dead settles and the water clears, you could see a community of fish guarded under the shades provided by the vegetation. And since this is no concrete or tarpaulin, there are several living organisms that the earth produces, which serve as feed for the fish. Also, with the earthen pond, it could be less expensive compared to the concrete pond and the tarpaulin, but this depends on who builds it for you. And above all, fish grow more naturally and better in the earthen pond, and this attracts me more to the earthen pond than the others. So right here, I knew exactly which type of fish pond I would go in for, and the right person I would contract to make it. So fast forward, um, it's been four months now, and I contacted him with the idea that I would like to start my fish pond, and I want him to do it for me. This was the part where he explains the details of his fish business to me. And he revealed that he made his first harvest from his backyard fish pond a few weeks back and was able to sell roughly a stock of 10,000 fish, which fetched him some 265,000 Ghana cities, which is a little over $20,000, all from his tiny backyard at pond. So before we contacted him and deciding conclusively that we wanted to do the fish farm, my team and I have done a bit of a survey into the fish business and together we agreed that starting with a 20,000 capacity fish pond would be ideal. So that's what he's working on now. And I'm going to leave every detail of how this journey goes, starting from how we constructed a pond, how much we spent on it, how the venture goes in general to inspire and educate anyone out there who is interested in going into fish farming. Thank Thanks for watching this video and kindly subscribe if you're interested to find out how our fish farm business journey goes. You can kindly leave us a comment if you have any question, an idea or experience to share. We appreciate your support. My name is Paddy and I'll see you in our next video.